Hey, my wonderful fans from all over the world. I am Silvio, the wine entrepreneur, and you're on a journey, a journey of wine, spirits, culinary delight, and a good time. Welcome aboard and all aboard to Nationwide Wine. Please subscribe. Today, we're, we're sampling a phenomenal wine from Rutherford. It's called The Vice. And interesting enough, Malik, who made these wine, that's his passion, that's his vice. Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa. This is from Rutherford, and Rutherford is known for the fine dust on its ground, so it, it has almost an earthy component. But right now, I've got some wonderful friends with me, John, Costa, Chet, and I'm so honored to have them with me to sample these wines. So, some for you, Chet. Thank you. Some for you, Costa. Grazie. Prego. Aren't these guys, and these are good looking guys, aren't they, ladies and gentlemen? I'm so lucky to have them as friends. Here you go, John. Perfect. So, and I want to show you the label real quick. We just sold some, the Vice. Cheers, boys. To the Pennsylvania Electric Control Board. Cheers. And the luxury. Had some work done to it, as you can tell. You know, we're at, we're at our favorite restaurant in Eddystone, Pennsylvania, Portobello Cafe, located 1423 Chester Pike, Eddystone, PA. My man, 19022. That's correct. Make sure you check them out. Uh, Portobello Cafe, I think it's dash restaurant.com. So, 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 so the first word that comes to mind is pleasant. Pleasant is good descriptive. Delicious. Uh, Multi-layered. Well, it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's it's completely uh, uh, when he makes a single vineyard, he does 100%. He doesn't mix it with other grapes, and it's 100% from Rutherford. Interestingly enough, he does this in three versions: V1, V2, V3. Which one is this? This is V1. So is we're, we're going to go up. Is this the lowest? It's not aged as long. Okay, okay. that's correct. And um, at one point, he's going to call, and, and I'm going to let you uh, hear from Malik himself. So, so these wines are all 2018? 2018, great vintage for Napa, wonderful vintage for Napa. It's a fantastic vintage. Yep. It was a very strong uh, grow year, because certain years are good, certain years are bad, unfortunately. Not as good, I should say. Right. Napa doesn't have any bad years, <laughs> but some years are not as good as others. So the we've heard. fermentation is uh, like three month gaps because you, you said there was like three series of these wines in 2018. You know what? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I just brought these wines in. I don't know that answer. And I never claim that I know something when I don't know it. So, but that's why I'm getting Malik on the phone. So that way when he calls, he can answer that question. Could also be the value of the grape. So the grapes are the most important things in wine. Mm -hmm. So the real definition of a great winemaker is being able to take a great grape and make a great wine. If you have a bad grape, you can't make a good wine. You can get a great grape and through the process make a bad wine. So the key is you need a good grape. Good grape. The grape could be six months older and be a superior grape or inferior grape. So the winemaker, Malik, has been doing it for years. The Rutherford Valley is a great, great area. Uh, not too far from where Screaming Eagle sells bottles for $6,000 a bottle. So maybe we should visit the know. vineyard. <laughs> what do you think? I think? I think we should get a plane, and uh, it might be a little cold, but never been to. Hey, the it's but... cold right now. That's yeah. for sure. We've had worse ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, and, and we uh, out of the gate, you know, I can I can say there are champions and there's pretenders. This is champion. Yeah. Well, they're they're calling the the the, uh, the, the best new young uh, winemaker coming up. Yeah. yeah, in line with Camus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, same family, same I did, range. Yeah, right, right. right. I did I did a Camus dinner once. That was a good time. Uh, it, it's it's right. It, it, it's a ripe wine. It's right. an earthy wine, like the right. dust. I think the dust is, right. that area. I you know I taste a lot of tannic. It's rich. Uh, a lot of blackberries. And uh, I think this is the kind of wine that you, you drink, enjoy, Smooth. stock, and drink later because it's gonna it's gonna appreciate. 
Oh, definitely good. You know the way from like gentleman John. That's oh yeah, it's wonderful. Well, they're they're like any test. You well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I know, I know. My wife would like it. Man. She's a critic. Oh yeah, she has a Debbie has a distinguished palate. She knows what she likes and what she doesn't like. Oh, it's cool. This would be suitable for her taste. Yeah, same with my wife too. I, I, I she goes great with the food, huh? Calamari, some oysters. Got some nice Greek salad. And how about that soup? Oh. Tell me about that three beans soup. That 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 is uh, that's a lentil. It's an Italian lentil. You know, the only the Italians would put sausage in lentil soup. Right? <laughs> but we're we're gonna try to make it a little more Greek by putting some wine, put some wine, red, red wine vinegar in there to bring it back to Grecia. <laughs> you know, goes really well with the Luciano calamari, calamari Luciano. It does. It does. No, it's magnificent. Uno faccio, uno arrazzo. You say yeah, like a true paisan. So it's, it's a winner. It's it's a winner. And, you know, it's so the only thing that's Malik now. Hold on. Certainly worthy of putting in the, in the, the only thing I would ask is more. Oh, yes. Hey, Malik. Hey, Sylvia. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Listen, I'm, I'm with uh, buddies of mine. And uh, their name is John, Costa, and Chet. And they're all sampling your wine with me right now, and it's being filmed. Bellissimo. Very good. Congratulations. 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 Well done. Well done, sir. We're, we're, you don't mind that I, that I put you on the spot, do you? No, no, no. Good, good, because this is just going to promote your brand. What's, uh, tell us, uh, what was the question you had? Chat about V1, V2, V3. Yeah, the because uh, they're all named 2018. So wanted to know how far apart V1, two, and three is all in the year of 2018. And 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 the uh, the aging process. Yeah, so uh, the, I'm always fascinated with Asian uh, wine because it's really The aging process of spirits. Okay. Or the, if you take the aging process of tequila, for example, uh, pick a tequila brand, name a name of brand. So, so, uh, Don Julio, uh, me, me Tierra is a brand that I represent. So, between the uh, Reposado, the Blanco, and the Anejo, right? Yeah, so the, the, so the Reposado and the Anejo is basically just the Blanco aged, Asian oak. And right. The Is it all American oak? No, no, no. It's 80% French, 20% American. By the way, it's interesting that you would say it. Uh huh. Because that's what I taste. 
Yeah. And I and I I told Sill there was something earthy, very you know, Poliak region that is un you know not similar to that sweeter, smoother. And by the way, I enjoy. I I, I have a taste for the uh, for the French so, earthier wines. I, I tasted that. So Rutherford is. Uh, Rutherford you know, dust? Powder. Rutherford dust. Right. So, the, the, the tricky part about Napa Cab or California Cab or Rutherford Cab, or really all Cab you probably had in the past, that most of Cabernet you've had in the past is not 100% Cabernet because by law, all you have to be 75% to be a, to be a varietal one line. That's interesting. I never knew that. Right. Really? But, but when they bottle it, when, when they bo when they bottle that, I never heard that. That's very interesting. When they bottle, although they call it a cab, they still have to tell you the percentage of non-cab, right? No. No, they don't. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Paul Savage does. Wow. What percentage? 85. Uh, that sounds something that the Italians would do. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, the Brunellos, they get caught doing it. The reservants, yeah. Yeah. So that Cabernet you have, the Rutherford Cabernet, is a pure Cabernet, 100% Cabernet. And Cabernet is not an aromatic varietal. That's, that's a completely you know, different one. Is this is the second one? That's completely different. Hey, Malik. No, I like it. Yeah. This is pretty good. I'm sorry to interrupt, right? We're now going to sample V2. Okay? The Voice Rutherford Cabernet Sauvignon V2. So tell us about V2. Let me tell you, it tastes unequivocally, completely much more complex. Oh, beautiful. Much, Cheers, much, much more like a traditional. So, the first wine I thought would have probably some part of France. Did not remind me of a California wine. Yeah. This. Lighter. Lighter. This, the earthy. Yeah. Those, that, that, those tannins. This has the blackberry, has the late figs. That, that 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 smoothness and this you're telling how many more months was this aged? 18. Just six months. Oh, six, six months. months. So that's amazing. Right. So, and and then the V3 is how many months? Probably another six 24 months. months. 24 months. Two years. So how do you put 2018 label on it then? If the, date, if the dates are six months and 24 months apart. Oh, that's when it's bottled. Is, is it the day you pick no, the grape? Okay, very good. So I, I taste a little bourbon in this wine too. Yeah. That's blackberry. Great vintage, by the way. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I've, I've had people blend this with Cabernet Sauvignon. I, I didn't believe it to say, it, there's no way I would have blind no. to this taste. Do you know Gus Calaris? Calaris Wines in California, he's got a huge vision. Reminds me of Axio. I kind of like V1, but it, I'm loving this also. V1 yeah. is very fabulous. Good, very, V1. V1 is a great wine. More prone to people that like earthier wines in the form of some of the French wines. Right. Different palettes for different people. Yeah. This is a tradi this is a this is a traditional Californian. That wine, honestly, has the longest age potential. That wine is going to open up so much. The tannin is going to soften over time. 
I want you to ask Sylvia what, what ask Sylvia what I said to him when we first opened it. I said, "Come back in two years for this wine. It's going to blow you away." That's exactly what he said. It's going to blow you, two years. It's going to blow you away. And he, he even he did an analogy. It's actually was pretty cool. That some wines are really good from the from the get go, and then they just fall apart over time. Whereas other wines, you open it up, and it's it's a good wine. But slowly and surely, it just becomes better and better. And he said that's exactly what the V1 was, or is. Yeah, the V1, you can, you can actually decant it for eight hours, ten hours, and you'll see how completely different wine it will be. We, we, saw, it in, we saw it in 45 minutes. We saw yeah. right. different properties in 45 minutes. The V2 tastes, uh, you know, I would say... You know, it has uh, features of the silver oak. It has a little sweetness of the Caymus in it. Wow. How far is Rutherford from those valleys? Uh, from, uh, from, from what? From, from St. Helena and, and from, you know, the Deladons, the ones that I'm familiar with. Caymus. Caymus. Yeah, I mean, Napa Valley right here. Napa Valley. It depends which Camus. It's okay. a private reserve, but the regular Camus. Sure. The regular Camus is from all over Napa Valley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they make a lot of volume, so it's not from one place. Sure. And, uh, I think he's. Probably think Farniente. Off of uh, uh, what's that trail? Yeah, Farniente's in Oakville. You're looking at, you know, less than five miles. So how was your journey in this wine business? Good What's question. the history behind you? Good question. What? Your history. Your history. Your background. Your background. How, how did you become uh, the vice and, and your passion, as you were mentioning, on your wine label? Oh, it's, uh, you looked me up, Silvio, haven't you? Yes, yes, of course, but I want these guys to know because they haven't, this is the first time they heard of you and sampled your wine. So we need the advice from the vice. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you come up with the name, actually? It's uh, I'm a man of vices. I, uh, I'm a man of vices. Yeah, I'm a man of vices. So that's where the name came. You're, you have vices. Well, congratulations. I think you found a vice that is both legal and profitable. Hey, tell me something. We're, we're going to let you off the hook. I, and, and thank you so much for jumping on the, on the line with us. Um, but uh, uh, you started as a distributorship in, in, in New York, right? Right, and, and, and then so you, you sampled a, a wine from Rutherford, you fell in love with it, that became your voice, your passion, and now who's calling you the, the best new winemaker in, 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 in the region? Oh, it's a big statement. But, but I, I know it's been in print. Who was it? Was it Wine Spectator, Wine Enthusiast? Hey, hey, Malik, I'm going to bring these guys to, uh, to you, and, and I'm going to bring a lot of people to you. And thank you so much for your time, and um, we are very, very grateful to you. So, uh, keep, keep so Malik, the, keep up the good luck, Malik. So Malik, wine. you seem like to be an individual. You seem like to be an individual who takes a spark and turns it into a blazing inferno. God bless. Thank you. And, and thank you so much. It's a pleasure, and, and you're exactly the kind of guy I want to be working with. Hey Bye. Malik, Malik. Hey Malik, you hit it out of the park. You know Silvio's the man here, so you got lucky. You got you got the right people representing you out here. That's very important. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Malik. You Thank All right. you. Ciao, ciao. Have a great day. Bye bye. All right, my wonderful fans.
Thank you for your time and your attention. Ciao for Ciao. now. Stay safe and enjoy the next class. <laughs>